All right, here I am making another video that I don't want to make. <laughs> I'm at my storage unit pulling out more art. I'd rather post flag waving videos. That's why you guys are following me. But I can't because YouTube will give me a strike. I already have two. They give me another one. They, they banish me forever. So I'll be banned from YouTube for life. So I gotta let one of these strikes fall off, okay? I think I got about five or six more weeks before the very first strike that I got falls off, okay? Then I'll only have one. Then I'll start posting my flag waving videos again. But I'm only gonna leave them up for like six, six hours. And then I'm gonna turn them private in hopes that YouTube doesn't give me a strike. So that way you guys will have a limited time to still see my flag waving videos and hopefully I'll be safe uh, from the uh, censorship Nazis at YouTube. All right, let's look at some art. I'm gonna be uh, transferring all my art out of my storage unit over to the space that we have rented for the podcast because it's a big walk-in closet. So, because I pay a hundred bucks a month here. So if I got room to hold my art over there while I try to sell it, I may as well move it and save a hundred bucks a month. So let's look at some art, guys. This one is a stencil painting I did a while ago. I'm gonna eventually put up most of these up on my Etsy page. Um, but right now it's just kind of a preview. Some of y'all have gotten a hold of me on my Etsy page um, when, because you saw some of my art while I was out here, you know, transporting it to the studio. So if you do see something you like and you want to get a jump on it, you can message me on my Etsy page, Paint the Trump. Okay? That's the best place to reach me. You can't really leave messages on YouTube. And sometimes I get like a 1,000 or 1,500 comments on one of these videos and I can't read them all man i don't have time for that but so here's a godfather painting i'll make you an offer you can't refuse i painted this in 2013 i also painted this one in 2013 the godfather is a stencil painting and it's a stencil i, I no longer have so i won't be making any more of those this is a James Dean painting that I did in 2013. My signature is subdued in there. What I did was I put my signature on real thick and I dated it 2013. And uh, after I painted this, I, I wiped a glaze, a dark glaze over the top of it and I wiped it off because it made it look weathered, I think. So it's got a, a lot of my paintings have quotes on them. Life is short break the rules they were meant to be broken forgive quickly kiss slowly love truly laugh uncontrollably and never regret anything that makes you smile that's a james De dean quote and i made this frame you know i was a carpenter for years so anything that you see uh that's framed any of my art which most of it isn't it's uh Anytime you see a frame, I made it. And it's not like you can take this painting out of this frame. This frame is actually part of the art. It's built right in. This painting uh, I did on a piece of plywood. All right, and then I glued and nailed it right into this frame. It's all one piece. So, and this painting is borderline too big to ship, man. I just found that out. I shipped out a Clint Eastwood painting that was, I don't know, not much bigger than this thing. All right. And they charged me $150 to ship it because it's considered oversized. So I don't know if I'm going to be shipping out any of these big ones. <coughs> Woo. That's the only way I can sneeze is if I stare at the sun. Isn't that weird? All right, check this painting out. This one will blow your socks off, I think. It's uh, what I call a transitional painting. I made a bunch of these before. Two paintings in one. When you look at it from a 45 degree angle, okay, it's one painting. And then when you walk by it, it turns into another painting. <laughs> so it's Batman. 
and it says you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain so when you walk by it the villain is the Joker right and Batman is the hero from Dark Knight that's a badass painting This is way too big to ship, and it's heavy. It's a heavy painting. This thing probably weighs. This thing probably weighs 50, 60 pounds. It's the whole thing is made up of uh, wooden fence pickets. There's the back of it. See how I had to make a frame for it? It's all built right in. This is a cool painting that I'll probably never be able to sell unless you can come pick it up. Not to mention, I want a lot of money for this. This, these things take forever to paint. It's hand painted, and it's not just a one painting, it's two paintings. And not only that, it turns from another painting into another whole different painting. You ever seen one of those? <laughs> cool, right? And I do have more. And I do have, uh, I think, two more transitional paintings in the storage unit. One's a Blues Brothers, and the other one's a Marilyn Monroe. So, let's look at some other stuff. This is stuff that's too big to ship. This horse painting I did a long time ago is way too big to ship, but if you live in the area and it doesn't have a frame, right? It's painted on tar paper and then it was glued, it was glued to a piece of plywood. Um, so that's this one. This painting is borderline. I could ship it, I guess. Pretty sure I could ship this one. Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. I painted this in 2014. That's hand painted. Scarface, and it's kind of a caricature. You know what I mean? Back then, I was doing a lot of these caricature paintings. This one is uh, Betty Page. I was never the girl next door. And if you like this one, too bad, I can't ship it. It's too big. It'll cost me 200 bucks to ship that thing. Unless you want to pay 200 bucks for me to ship it. You know, maybe then I'll think about it. I'm making this video because I gotta make something. You know, plus I wanna sell my art. So I got to take advantage of YouTube while I'm still on here. Because once they delete me, because they're gunning for me, man. You know what I mean? They make up their own rules. If they want to get rid of me, they'll give me a strike for some other video that I have up. So while I'm uh, still on there, I'm going to try to use it to my benefit to show you guys my art. and Hopefully you guys want to support the channel. I will post a link in the descriptions to my PayPal uh, account and anybody that wants to donate to the channel. I'm trying to get this podcast going. It's costing me thousands of dollars to get all the equipment. Um, I'm trying to hook it up myself, but I need an expert, man. We're going to go there after this and I'll show you the mess I got going over there. We got the mixer hooked up and... Uh, you got the headphones working. You can hear all the mics. So we've gotten that far. And uh, it's confusing, man. I'm not a tech guy. And I'm trying to figure it out myself. And uh, ain't working out too good. This painting is um, from Taxi Driver. You talking to me? De Niro. De Niro is a douche. I think I'll throw this one in the garbage. Just out of spite. I hate De Niro. He's a lefty. He's pretty much a political, lefty political activist now. More so than an actor. He's a douchebag. Look at this painting. 
leopard painting. That's badass. <sighs> so this is on quarter inch plywood. You can't just hang quarter inch plywood on the wall. So I ripped a two by four in half and made a frame for it. See? This is a cool painting, but it's too damn big to ship. It's too bad because it's a cool painting. I like to paint big, obviously. I don't paint a lot of small stuff. So some of this stuff you're not going to see me put on my Etsy page. I don't think I'm willing to ship this thing, even though, unless you're willing to pay, what's this going to cost? 240 bucks to ship? Plus, I, I'll probably want $500 for this painting, so. I don't know if anybody out there is willing to flip the bill for that. Who knows? All right, I got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. Uh, this is from Breaking Bad. That's a pretty cool stencil painting I did. It's like a five or six layer stencil painting. I'm not sure if I still have those stencils or not. This is from a movie from with David Bowie in it. Chris Farley. That's a stencil painting. I got some more of these David Bowie's. Um, that's from The Matrix. It's a stencil painting. I'm probably going to chuck it. Jeff Beck. Anybody a Jeff Beck fan? Old guy still rock. It's a stencil painting. I think you know, I, made, I, I spent the time to cut those stencils out and I only made one painting. That's a Marley. Bob Marley painting. It's a little scuffed up. Love the life you live. Bob Marley. Some motorcycle painting I did. This is all garbage. I'm gonna consider that all garbage. This is a cool painting here. This is a hand painted Albert Einstein. And so the paint is on there super thick. So what I did with the quote was I found these sticky on one side uh, embossed lettering that you peel off, right? The rubbery letters that I got from the art store or whatever. And I stuck the letters right on the painting and then I gooped the paint all over it. So it's kind of uh, three dimensional. It, it just, uh, it's like a relief kind of a thing where it pops out. It just says Einstein. You never fail until you stop trying. <laughs> oh, and this is one of those paintings where I didn't use a paintbrush. I, I, I put some real thick latex house paint in a, like a squeeze bottle and I squeezed out the paint and then let it dry and I did I did um, I did this in like multiple layers uh, so I'd squeeze out some of it and then let it dry real good and then squeeze more of it out there's probably I don't know there's a lot of paint on this thing probably half a gallon of paint believe it or not so, this is a really cool painting. It's a cool painting and it's on, it's on fence pickets, which that's usually what I, I'm known to paint on is fence pickets. I only started painting on fence pickets because they're cheap, you know what I mean? Um, and I used house paint because it holds up better than art paint and it's way cheaper than art paint Now I'm painting on canvases because I don't want it to cost me an arm and a leg to shit <laughs> This is another painting of it looks like a um, leopard All right, and it's painted in this oranges and yellows um, and it's got a quote on it. I survived because the fire inside me burned brighter than the fire around me. Yeah, so that's good, right? <laughs> I could ship this one, but it needs a little bit of touch up. Uh, this is a airbrushed stencil painting. I made the frame. Uh, 
It's just a no quote on it. It's just a joker. I painted this one on uh, like particle wood. You know what I mean? You can see the back of it. Uh, and it's got that particle wood texture. That weird look to it, which is cool. So what I did was I base coated the wood and then airbrushed the joker on it. That's a nice one. I don't know, what, did I sign it? I did. 2012 is when I painted this. So, I don't know, I got a lot of art in here that I'm like, eh. Just like anything, like an artist will look back, you know, 10 years ago at the art he was doing and go, ugh, that was horrible. <laughs> I got a lot of that going on. I ain't showing you guys that stuff. Not everything turns out great. This is James Belushi from the movie uh, 1941, right? Is that what it's called? John Belushi. Look at this Wolverine painting. That's just painted on regular plywood. And it's got a, a super high gloss finish on it. It just says Wolverine. That was a stencil painting. I did it with an airbrush. That's kind of cool. If you're a Wolverine fan. This is just a painting of Darth Maul from Star Wars. No quote or nothing. It's on quarter inch plywood and I got a frame that I made for the back side of it because it's frameless from the front, right? So it floats out from the wall like an inch and a half. You know what I mean? So it looks like it's floating on the wall. Any Star Wars fans out there? This is a BB King painting. It was a stencil painting. I no longer have this stencil, by the way, but it's BB King with a quote from him. The beautiful thing about the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. BB King. That's on three eighths plywood with a, with a uh, frame on the back, so you can hang it. It doesn't have a wire on it, but before I ship it out, I'll put a wire on it. You know, one fence picket. The worst crime is faking it, Kurt Cobain. And that's all done with an airbrush. This is just a James Dean that didn't turn out very good that I'm gonna chuck. That's another Pale Rider one that turned up. Oh, it's a little bit darker. Pale Rider, Clint Eastwood. And another Kurt Cobain. I like the painting and everything, but the words, they aren't, they don't stand out very good, so, you know, I could probably take a, a, some white latex paint and go over the letters and it might look pretty sharp. Um, I got a bunch of junk over here, like, that's like a motorcycle stencil painting. This one's cool. This is a, uh, I didn't make this frame, but it's a small Salvador Dali painting, framed, Madman. That's a pretty good, uh, I did that with an airbrush and uh, some, some stencils. So that one's kind of cool. I like that one. See, that's the Blues Brothers stencil painting. Is that Ray Charles back there? That's kind of cool. Here it is in, in uh, blues. I like the black and white one better. I don't know if I like that one. That's another uh, say hello to my little friend one. Richard Pryor, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Richard Pryor. It's a really horrible stencil painting. Somebody might like it. I don't know. There's another motorcycle stencil. That one turned out better. 
but I can't see. And there's another old motorcycle stencil painting. But, and there's an, the same one in a different color. I don't know if I'll even bother sticking those on my Etsy page. So everything I've ever stuck up on my Etsy page sold quick, except for the Ozzy Osbourne painting out there. I guess there are, we don't have any Ozzy fans. He's still on my Etsy page, so I'll probably pull him down. And then this. I've done a lot of stencil paintings on uh, tar paper. And here's some of them. I'm not going to go through them all, but so I could roll this up and ship it. You know what I mean, Maryland? Or I could I could spray mount it to a piece of plywood and get it framed. Or you could do that. I haven't decided. I'm not going to go through all these. Bob Dylan. Here's a stencil painting. Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. That's kind of a good stencil painting, right? Trump, baby. So, unless I've done these, done these fairly recently, I could put a quote on them. I don't know. I don't know, man. I feel like I could do better. That Batman painting is pretty good. Stencil painting. Come on. I, I paint a lot of stuff on... Um, tar paper I used to because it's very rugged it holds up good and it kind of looks like canvas when you look at it real close it has this canvas look to it we got Captain America Archie Bunker there's another fuck you my Richard Pryor here's Gone with the Wind yeah. Wonder Woman this is a hand painted um, stencil so essentially, when I'm doing the stencil painting, I stipple on the paint with a brush and it looks hand painted. That's pretty cool. Well, I did a lot of these Batmans. Ooh, look at that. Amy Winehouse. Life's short. Anything could happen, and it usually does. Yeah, she died young. Archie Bunker, don't be a meathead. There's a Wonder Woman that I did with a spray gun. You can see how much smoother it looks. Always be yourself, unless you can be Wonder Woman. Then, always be Wonder Woman. <laughs> oh, and then there's Superman. Christopher Reeve, Superman. Once you choose hope, anything's possible. Christopher Reeve. And then, uh, Keith Richards. That's kind of a good one there. I never had a problem with drugs. I've had problems with the police. <laughs> Keith Richards, stencil painting on tar paper. Don't make me angry, the Hulk. Never send a human to do a machine's job, Mr. Smith, Agent Smith. There's that. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. This is that um, Godfather, Morpheus. There's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. Oh, I have another wolf painting. I didn't know that. The tiger and the lion may be more powerful, but the wolf does not perform in the circus. That's telling you that the wolf is the baddest animal out there. You can't tame the wolf. There's another Cobain. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to ask someone else first. <laughs> Kurt Cobain. And here is a Dave Grohl stencil painting. I got another confession to make. I'm your fool. Song lyric. And here's a really shitty... Um... Uh, James Dean stencil that didn't that did it with a brush. It didn't turn out all that good. You can tell it's him though. Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today, James Dean. It's very sloppy, but it still looks cool. Ooh, look at this. So I posted this painting here on my uh, Instagram page, and uh, Roy Jones Jr. liked it because I tagged him in it. He was the shit in the day, man. 
So I got a lot more stuff here, man, but I'm not gonna go through it all. This is kind of a weird painting. It's a uh, up close, you can hardly tell what it is, right? But when you zoom back, you can tell it's the Wizard of Oz character skipping down the road there. Oh. That's a stencil painting during the swamp, Trump. It's all right. Look at this. It's a Trump painting I started. I never finished it. I didn't like the way the hat turned out, so I kind of gave up on it. This one. Look at this. Trump is Batman. I'm not saying Trump is Batman. I'm just saying no one has ever seen Trump and Batman in the same room together. <laughs> Funny, right? And then I have this one. Where Trump is Superman. And it looks very weird. It didn't turn out all that good, but Trump. Truth, justice, any American way, MAGA. I don't know. I forgot I had these. I probably rolled them up and stuck them out here and tossed them in my storage unit because uh, I don't know. They turn out all that great. Two terms. Yeah, Bob Dylan. And that's got a quote on it. All I can do is be me, whoever that is. Bob Dylan. I know there's got to be some Bob Dylan fans out there. Here's Cher. Oh. If I could reach the stars, I'd give them all to you, Cher. Kurt Cobain, another one. I'd rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I am not. Kurt Cobain. That's actually a pretty good painting. Axel Rose stencil painting. Forgot I made that stencil. Uh, Cause nothing lasts forever and we both know hearts can change. Axl Rose song lyric. Uh, this is another uh, Scarface. Who do I trust? Me, that's who. I'll make you an offer. It's a godfather, weird sort of. Uh, dream on, dream on. Dream until your dreams come true. Steven Tyler. Look at that fucking badass. Badass Wolverine painting. I'm the best at what I do, but what I do isn't very nice. That's a good painting right there. That's a cool painting. Here's a Keith Richards, one stencil, one layered stencil painting. If you're going to kick authority in the teeth, you may as well use both feet. <laughs> That's a weird painting, but here's a Picasso. The purpose of art is washing the dust off daily life off your, our souls is washing the dust of daily life off our souls okay another girl painting mm -hmm -hmm. it's times like these you learn to live again dave Grohl. that's a good one christopher walken baby it's not a party until i walk in <laughs> get it got a Marilyn. yeah that's kind of cool so this is a, a stencil painting that was done with a brush and it's very sloppy, but it looks cool. If I'd observed all the rules, I'd never have gotten anywhere. And I didn't even write Marilyn Monroe because she's the one that said that. So technically if I wanted to sell this, I should put Marilyn Monroe's name down here. And here's another Picasso. Everything you can imagine is real, Picasso. Man, so some of the best paintings that I got here are done on uh, uh, tar paper. So, and these will be cheap to ship because I'll just roll them up. And then when you get it, if you buy one, then uh, you get it, um, you get it mounted to a piece of uh, hard board, and then you can get it framed. All right. So support the channel, buy some art. Now I'm going to lug all this shit over to uh, the podcast studio. I got more stencil art here on canvas that I'm not going to open up right now. Or maybe I'll do it in the next couple of days. And 
I got three paintings in here that I have no idea what they are. And what these are painted on is uh, Home Depot drop cloths. One of them is, I think this one is a Michael Jackson painting. So I'll open them up maybe tomorrow or the next day and do a video. But I gotta get rolling. Heading over to the studio. So I gotta load all this stuff up. All right, we're here. I brought all my art. Got it leaning against the walls. I'm gonna put it all in the closet. Kristen's here helping me hook all this stuff up. Check it out. We got the microphones working. And all the headsets are working. That's just pretty much as far as we've gotten. This is the mixer that controls the mics and the headsets. That's the switcher that's supposed to allow us to switch camera angles, which we're, we're fiddling with that. I can hear a couple of them. We got to hook it to the computer and uh, we're not sure. Oh, oh, you're we're not sure what we're doing, so we're trying to figure it out. Are you telling me this, Jeff? Okay. I got you. We're getting there slowly. <laughs> so, yeah. this is the podcast setup, guys. Since you're like an artist. Um, you think? So I have like one profile better than the other. Yeah, they're good. Either side's good. So, I brought this painting. Uh, this is one that I painted probably a year ago. Uh, we're just going to screw it to the wall or something. I don't know. Gosh. I got my Trump flag hanging from the closet door. I made a shelf in here so I can put all my art under here, all my big art, and then stack it up over here also. I'm going to wind up filling this closet full of art, at least halfway full. So, so that's all I know, guys. We're making progress on the podcast, so I can't say exactly when we're going to be doing the first one. Hopefully soon, in the next week or two. We shall see. So stay tuned. I know this isn't a flag waving video, but I'm showing you my art and I'm keeping you posted on where we're at with the podcast. So don't go anywhere, all right? I think the podcast is going to be just as entertaining as the flag waving video. So follow me on Rumble, okay? That's where I post all my flag waving videos. We're waving flags today. I'll be making a video. So follow me on Rumble, and I post my Rumble videos to Parlor, and I'm on Gab, and I just got on, uh, what the hell is it called? You gotta get on so many different things, it's insane. I'm on Telegram, so follow me on Telegram. I'm gonna start posting my videos there too. What a pain in the ass censorship is, right? Shouldn't be happening, censorship in the United States. Trump, the leader of the Republican Party, is being censored on everything. He's not on any social media, which is crazy to me. Trump needs to get his ass on parlor and gab. Do something, man. I don't think he's starting up his own social media site like everybody seems to think he is. He should have. But... Anyway, stay tuned, guys. Adios.